This video is part of the Puzzle Advent Calendar, a huge collaboration between a lot of different YouTubers and puzzle designers, bringing you 24 daily videos from December 1st to 24th. This is the 17th video coming out on December 17th. Make sure to go into the description to see who's uploading the next video and check them out. Subscribe to them so you don't miss the next video and once the collaboration is over, there will be a playlist in the description linking to all of the videos. This is an episode of Print It Yourself, a series that I make where I 3D print puzzles whose files are publicly available for anybody to download and print. The last build I did for this series, the 4x4 Evil Twin, was much more complicated than it should have been and required many more materials than it needed to. So I wanted this next puzzle to be very simple to build. And I think I was fairly successful in achieving that. The 3x3x2 Evil Twin really doesn't take a long time to build. And the most difficult part is cutting off two edges on each of the 2x2s. The premise of the Evil Twin series is to make a puzzle that looks like another puzzle. The 3x3 Evil Twin, which I've made in the past, is made from a fused 2x2 puzzle. This 3x3x2 Evil Twin, as you saw, is made from a Siamese 2x2, so it solves just like a Siamese 2x2, except with a little bit of external bandaging added. It's not too difficult, so it's one of those puzzles that you can always bring with you, maybe on a trip, to have a little bit of fun with. In addition, it's always fun to show it to unsuspecting people who think it's just a 3x3x2 when they first see it and then are incredibly confused when you give it to them and they turn it. I used 3x3 speed cube stickers for this puzzle and they stuck so well that I had to super glue each and every one to the puzzle. As a result, they don't look too pretty and if I were to remake this, I would definitely cut my own stickers. The major benefit of the ones I did use, however, is that they are fluorescent, which means that you can see them much easier in the nighttime. I'm not entirely sure about that actually, and I think it's worth looking into what kind of stickers look best at night, but that's just more of a side note than anything else, and if I were to use fluorescent stickers in the future, it would again just be me cutting my own stickers, and not pre-cut 3x3 speed cube stickers. If you have a couple of 24mm 2x2s, a saw, and the ability to get 3D printed pieces or 3D print, I highly recommend making this puzzle for yourself. It really doesn't take a long time to make, and it requires no additional materials beyond the two base puzzles and the 3D printer filament. And the result is a really fun little puzzle. I think it is absolutely worth it. And in addition, it looks insane when it's scrambled. So let's try scrambling it now and see how it turns out. After it's scrambled, I'll show you a walkthrough solve in case any of you make the puzzle for yourself and kind of want a hint on where to go after you get a certain part done. Alright, let's solve it. Now the most important thing to understand is that this cube is just made of two 2x2s. Two There's this one, which is these two faces, and this one, which is these two faces. And they solve independently except for this external bandaging here. You can see I can't actually turn this layer, but it's pretty simple to just turn it away. So I'm going to solve the one on the top right first, and the first thing I like to do is to put in these long pieces, the, one that the ones that consist of one QB and then another glued QB.
Alright, you can see that it actually doesn't belong here. It actually belongs on this side. Like that. And now all I have to do is put the other long piece in next to it. And here we are. And to solve the last yellow layer, there's just one algorithm. I'm not going to explain it too much, but basically since you can only use R and U moves, the permutations are fairly restricted, so you can solve the entire top layer with one algorithm. It's used in one of the beginner's methods to cycle around 3x3 three three edges, and in a few other methods as an OLL. But here you can just use it to solve the entire top layer, so just put the correctly oriented piece in the bottom left and do it. R, U, R prime, U, R, R prime, do the same thing. And the top layer is now done. And when solving the other two layers of the cube, you're going to want to turn this twice so that you can freely make these two moves. And all of the external bandaging is basically gone. So it's the same story. We put this in. And uh, I didn't even have to do the algorithm for the second layer. It is already solved. So yeah, you can see that you can solve this puzzle really quickly if you want to. It's not something that takes a long time. However, if you want it to take a while, then you can try exploring other methods. Like, try not using that algorithm, try using others. But anyway, that's all I really have to say about this puzzle. Don't forget to check out the next person in the puzzle advent calendar. Links in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and have a good morning.